Hello and welcome to week 29 of the Frank and Scrap Crochet Along. And this week we're making the corner to corner moss stitch. So this is, you know, it looks exactly like the moss stitch, but it's made on a diagonal. And so you will have increased rows and then decreased rows to create this uh, beautiful stitch. So for this piece, you're going to need to start with a foundation chain of three. So to start your corner to corner moss stitch, you're going to be making a single crochet in the third chain from your hook. That's going to be the last chain that you have. Okay, so we're going to end up with this little triangle with a gap in the middle. And that's row one. So row two, we're going to turn and chain three. In that chain space, right in here, you're going to make single crochet, chain one, and then still working in the chain space, make another single crochet. Okay. And that's row two. Then turn and chain three. In the chain space, which is the chain one between your single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and these first few rows, it's a bit easy to get turned around. There's one single crochet and I'm going into there. There we go. You're going to make a single crochet, chain one, and then moving over to the chain space, which is over here. You can mark these if you need to. Okay, I'm not, but if that's what you need to do to keep track, then go ahead. Into that chain space, I'm going to make a single crochet, chain one, and a single crochet. And that's row three. So we're slowly expanding and getting our shape. So we've got the corner of the square down here, and then our straight sides are coming up here and here. So you'll always have a chain space at the end of the row and you'll always start your um, next row with a chain three. Then into the chain space which is between those two single crochets there. So this is the chain one space. You're going to make a single crochet and then chain one. Skip to the next chain space so there's the single crochet. We skip to this chain space in between. That's the chain one space. And again, make a single crochet. Chain one. When you get to the end turning chain space, so this is the chain three space, you're going to make a single crochet, chain one, and another single crochet. And that adds stitches to the row. So we start getting the expansion. So the rest of the corner to corner moss stitch is a repeat of row four. I should say the rest of the increase rows are a repeat of row four. So I'll just do another repeat of row four to show you again. Turn, chain three. In the next chain one space, which is here, make a single crochet, chain one. In the next chain one space, here, make a single crochet, chain one. And you repeat that across the row for all your chain one spaces. Make a single crochet in the chain space, and then chain one. Repeat that all the way across the row until you only have the turning chain space, that chain three space at the end of the row. And in that turning chain space, make a single crochet, chain one, and another single crochet in that space. So repeat row four for all of your increase rows. Turn, chain three. In the next chain one space, make a single crochet, chain one. In your next chain one space, make a single crochet, chain one, repeat across the row, chain one. 
single crochet in the chain one space, chain one. Then when you reach your turning chain space, that chain three space at the end of the row, into there, make a single crochet, chain one, and into the same chain space, make another single crochet. If I just bring in a piece here, see all these stitches in between, a single crochet, chain one, then single crochet in the next chain space. The beginning if your increase is your chain three and then single crochet in that first stitch there. When you get to the end, in the chain three turning chain from the last row, you make a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. It makes sense once you see it made up. While you're working it, it can look a bit messy. But as you get bigger with the piece, it will all come. Okay, so I've shown you several repeats of row four, just so I can make this bigger, and I can show you the decrease rows. So to decrease, first we need to do a sort of middle finishing row. So to do that, we're going to turn and chain three. We're going to skip to the chain one space in here and make a single crochet, chain one. Make a single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, and repeat that across the row. So, so far we're doing the same as we did in row four, and what's gonna change is actually what we do in the turning chain at the end. So chain one, single crochet in the chain space, all the way across, until you've got to the last chain one space. So once you've made that last single crochet, don't chain one. So straight from the single crochet, we go into the chain space and you're going to single crochet and then make a half double crochet. So this is the only row you'll have a half double crochet in this stitch and it's just to make that turn and the decrease a little bit neater as we get started. Okay, so then turn. So for the next decrease row, you're going to chain two. We're going to skip the first two stitches, which is the half double crochet and the single crochet. Okay. We're gonna skip the next single crochet as well and into the chain space. So we're skipping all of this, going to the chain space and make a single crochet. And this decreases the row chain one, single crochet in the next chain space. Okay, and you repeat as normal all the way across the row in every chain one space. Okay, and then in that last chain one space, make a single crochet, but don't chain one afterwards. And then in the chain three space, you're going to make a single crochet. Okay, just one single crochet. Okay, and then turn. And you can see now we're starting to come in. So we're starting to make that decrease. So the next row, chain two. Skip the first two stitches. So we've got single crochet, single crochet, chain space. Skip the first two stitches and into the chain space, make a single crochet and chain one. So as we did before, single crochet and chain one in every chain one space until you get to the last chain one space which for me is here. oh nope that was the last chain one space it comes sooner than you think because we're decreasing now so there's the chain two space and here is my last chain one space so it it comes sooner than you might think so in that last chain one space you just make a single crochet Okay, then go straight to the next chain space and make a single crochet. So just one single crochet in that chain space. And then turn. The rest of your decrease rows are a repeat of this row here. Okay, so we had our finishing kind of middle line where we had that half double crochet stitch. We made 
another decrease row. So that's the first proper decrease row. That's this row here. And the only reason that's different is because we have to skip that half double crochet. But otherwise it's the same as the row we just made. So your decrease row is always chain two. Skip the first two stitches, which are the two single crochet, go straight to your chain one space and single crochet, chain one. Okay, so single crochet, chain one in every chain space until you get to the last chain space, which for me is going to be this one. And in that last chain one space, make a single crochet only. Do not chain one. Then in the chain two turning chain, make a single crochet. So you're going to finish the row with two single crochets, one in the chain one space and then one in the turning chain. There is no chain one in between. And then turn. And you're going to repeat that until um, you kind of come to the, to the end. Okay, so I've only got one chain one space left in this row. So repeat the same way, you're going to chain two, into that single crochet space, make a single crochet, but there's no chain one. Make a single crochet in the turning chain. So in this stitch, we've in this row, we've only got your chain two turning chain, single crochet, single crochet. Turn and chain two. You're only going to make a single crochet in that turning chain. Okay, and that is the end of the moss corner to corner moss stitch. That is how you end the decrease. So because this square is so small, it looks a little bit misshapen, but you can see how it is a square. It's trying to diamond even square on its side but this does look better in bigger pieces than this. This will end up as a point. So with a bigger piece, this looks neater. But that is essentially the corner's corner moss stitch. So it will look sideways once you join as squares. To complete your corner to corner moss stitch, you're going to be making 32 increase rows and then 30, row 33 will be the row where you make that um, half double crochet in the last stitch, that middle row. And then rows 34 to 67 are your decrease rows. So you'll be making 67 rows in total of this stitch. Once you've finished row 67, you can cut off and weave in your ends. And then it's time to, to join this piece, the rest of your Franken scrap. To see where this piece fits along with the full joining instructions, click the link beneath this video and I'll take you to the blog post where you can find all the information on how to do that. And don't forget the Facebook group is there for any questions you have, or if you just want to get chatting with your fellow Franken scrappers. So once you've finished joining this piece, that's week 29 complete. And I shall see you next week for the next piece. Bye for now.